Morning peeps, back up at the allotment, as you can see, just off up to the plot now. I'm not gonna do much today, I'm just picking, oh, there's the buzzard, I just wish I could've got that shot then of him swooping over the allotment, wow. Anyhow, I digress. I'm just up here to pick beetroot, um, dig up a last row of uh, sweet candle carrots, what else am I going to do? Take the onions that have been drying in the shed and just a quick plot tour I guess. Alright, let's get to it. Now then, I really thought I was going to struggle to show you guys something different on the plot today, but I'm pleasantly surprised. Let me take you out and show you what's going on. First of all, the size of those blackberries. Huge. So yeah, it's definitely a picking there. This has made me really happy. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Butternut squash. One there. One there. And there are some in here. There you go. Another one there. And there. That's the best news of the day. Because I really do love butternut squash and I really did think that I planted this far too late. But it goes to show that at the start of September, um, yeah, you can get some late cropping vegetables. So, thumbs up for that one. Uh, a lot mental. I don't know if any of you watch his channel. You should do, if you don't. I picked a really big beetroot a couple of videos ago. Go back and check out that video. And a lot mental's got a big one growing on his plot that he's just going to keep in until I don't know when. And then pull it at some stage and do a big reveal. Hopefully I'll have another big one in here and I can maybe that one, although it doesn't look too big, maybe there might be another big one in this row here. I'm not too sure though. And when he pulls his, so to speak, I'll pull mine. We'll have a double pulling, eh? For now, for now. Um, what else did I want to show you? Don't look at the weeds, the weeds are going to be dealt with this weekend. Right, the last video, I cut back quite a bit of this grapevine in the hope that these grapes would push on, and I think they have. They certainly look bigger to me anyhow. A couple starting to change colour there. So, I don't know, they certainly look fatter. So yeah, Mr. Michael Brotherton gave me a few tips. Thank you, sir. Check out his channel. Uh, what else can I show you? The turnips. Uh, we've had the rain, which has fattened up the turnips and certainly brought the weeds on. There you go. Hopefully they'll uh, fatten up a bit more. These, although nowhere near the size of Nora's pumpkins, there you go. It's the start of my first pumpkin, I think. In fact, I don't know whether these are pumpkin plants or not. Again, a bit of stealth planting from my dad. He came up one afternoon when I wasn't here and planted these just because he needed to make room uh, in his greenhouse at home and just get rid of them so I think they're pumpkins but obviously it's far too late in the season for them to do anything and then finally I never ever showed you guys the uh, 
Let's have a look. The two courgette plants that I planted at the back of the shed here. And looking at it, there you go. First courgette of 2016. I think I've mentioned before, I do like these, I do like courgettes, but the trouble with them is once you start picking them, they never stop. And I've always said that if you left courgette plants unchecked, they'd eventually take over the world. Right, I'll go and show you the onions. Now these are the second half of the onions that I've pulled and the remainder of the shallots all just drying out in the shed here. That's not bad. Unfortunately my biggest onion, this one here, seems to be going bad. That's a bit, I don't know, it's a bit mouldy that so I'll just leave him there and let him continue to dry out but I think most of these are done. They've been in the shed for a week or so or maybe longer so I'll be taking those home with me today. Well there you go, if you come round to my house tonight this is what you can expect on the menu. Some carrots, sugar snack variety, very small baby courgette, I should have probably left him in a bit longer just to fatten up, three beetroots and four onions. From the looks of that, apart from the courgette, it seems like my plot is very good at growing root vegetables, certainly carrots, beetroot and well is an onion a root vegetable? I don't know. Okay, right. That's the plot. Early September 2016. Weeds are now starting to take hold. I'm up here tomorrow. I won't be filming. I'll just be starting to clear beds and tidy up. Anyhow, thank you for joining me if you have and I'll see you on next video. Bye for now.